In today's Tea Time Show, I'm going to show you how to do free SEO keyword research using Google Search Console. Um, so the agenda for today is uh, how to look at the search query analytics in Search Console, um, and then how we can analyze those, and then how to use them in your SEO campaigns. Um, if you'd like to learn more about SEO, there are a whole bunch of videos uh, in this back catalogue on our channel. Um, but also make sure you hit subscribe right now and you'll catch us for future videos on how to improve your SEO. So let's head into the new Google Search Console um, and we're going to head into the performance section. And in there we're going to find uh, web data for a date range. Um, I'm looking at the last 28 days here, but you can expand that uh, or contract it if you like. Uh, we're looking at total clicks and total impressions for organic searches. So this is nothing to do with your paid ads, Google ads, anything like that. This is purely your organic search data. Um, so this is how many clicks we had through organic in this period and this is the number of impressions So how many times we showed? Um, I'm also going to enable the average position Which is really helpful for us when we're trying to conduct keyword research as to what we should try and rank for So the thing to understand here is this is data about what you are already getting found for this isn't going to tell you anything you're not getting found for. So there are other keyword research tools and other keyword methods uh, that you can use and keep subscribing. We'll show you some more of those. Um, but uh, this is really trying to do some keyword research here to identify um, some some quick wins. Um, what can we, what do we what do we rank fairly well for that we could rank better and, and get uh, some more traffic quite easily. So that's what we're looking uh, here in Search Console for is some very quick opportunities. So we can see our average position on a number of these uh, and looking for um, search terms that we, we may want to target, optimize our content through on-page changes uh, or maybe do some external linking, um, but, but kind of cliched low-hanging fruit if you like. So we can see a number here where uh, Backyard Studio Kits Melbourne, we're 8.1, there's a handful of impressions, we're getting four clicks. Um, we could potentially be getting double that quite easily through some, um, some on-page on optimization to optimize for that search term. So I would be looking at this keyword research and then I'd be going and seeing um, in here, there we go. Um, so I'm now looking at that specific query and let's see what page so it's our home page which is ranking now it may be that from this you go and create a dedicated page on your website to uh, address this particular keyword if it's different enough from uh, the content on the home page in this instance um, and then obviously think about internal linking um, but we can see uh, how many clicks we've got on there we would also be able to see here if we had two or three pages that could rank or do rank um, on different occasions for that search term we call that cannibalization so you may run into a problem with rankings where Googlebot is confused about which page to which page on your site is the right one the most important one for that particular search term um, so that's very very quickly um, how to look at some keyword data and the pages we can also look at um, individual devices and we can see that our rankings are different for mobile and desktop than they are on tablet for whatever reason so that's something we may want to work on um, maybe the way the pages are rendering on tablet devices aren't so good um, could be any number of reasons we're, we're looking at quite a small amount of data here Here's another similar version of that search term where we've got uh, Backyard Studios Melbourne um, and again we can go into that keyword there and take a look at which page ranks for that and again it's the home page. Another view here which is quite useful is to look for things where we rank in position one um, and use that sort. So just clicking on here will do that for us. And some of these are going to be irrelevant, um, but this might be interesting. Outdoor shed rooms, office garden pods, things like that. So uh, for what this site sells uh, and provides, um, people actually call them slightly different things that we may not 
understand. Um, so uh, particularly where you're talking about a niche market, someone will see something, not know what it's called, um, and just make up what they think it's called, and that's what they search Google for. So sometimes, uh, you know, what we call something in our business, people don't necessarily call it the same thing so that can be quite revealing in terms of your keyword research here and again these tends to be very very long tail very specific terms um, and you don't need to go creating pages for these search terms but maybe just mention that particular word somewhere um, and that could get you uh, from 1.5 to number one or uh, where are we one point um, yeah so position two maybe two uh, position one or 1.5 so and that's only going to get us more um, more traffic uh, higher visibility more impressions more clicks so definitely worth um, trawling through here um, every few weeks maybe every couple of months and just looking at what things you're being found for uh, so just to remind you again, um, this isn't going to tell you things that you are not being found for. It's only really going to be uh, only really useful for telling you things that you are currently being found for or currently being listed in the Google organic search results, um, even in lower positions. So uh, definitely a good source of keyword research for free, uh, looking at your website, your data, your rankings to try and get some quick win some good opportunities to improve your rankings get more traffic um, if you've enjoyed this uh, do subscribe and we'll give you some more tips on uh, SEO and do give this a like if you have any questions about this or you're stuck then please uh, do comment and I'll try and answer those for you